Hello there, my name's Liam and I'm the School Liaison Officer for Southwest Durham Training, a specialist engineering provider based in Newton Aycliffe. And in this quick video, I'm going to talk about why you should consider studying engineering, why Southwest Durham is really well placed to be your provider for your training, and the types of courses we offer at Southwest Durham. Now to start, why choose engineering in the first place? And one of the reasons that you should consider engineering is that engineers are in demand and that they earn good money. So the skills that they learn make them highly employable, not just as engineers, but in lots of different sectors across uh, employment. So like doctors and like lawyers, they're, when they're professionally registered, engineers are really well respected and it's a really good trade to get into. The sector generally is also really well paid. So engineering apprentices can earn almost double the national apprenticeship minimum wage in some roles and starting salaries for engineering and technology graduates. So those that are leaving university with one of those qualifications is about 20% higher than the average graduate starting salary. So graduates who are leaving university with other qualifications. It's also really important to note that there's lots of engineering and manufacturing jobs in the Northeast. So as you can see on the screen here, around one in every 10 jobs in the region is an engineering or manufacturing job. And that includes lots of different engineering disciplines, including mechanical, electronic, software, civil, and structural engineering at different levels. So as well as being really well respected and well paid, there's also lots of jobs in the Northeast that rely on having an engineering qualification. So that's where we come in. At Southwest Durham, we're an Ofsted outstanding provider. So we're recognized for the quality of the training that we give for engineering, for plumbing and electrical installation. We're based in Newton Aycliffe on the industrial estate, which means we're surrounded by engineering and manufacturing companies that we work closely with. And these are some of the companies we partner with to provide apprenticeships, as I'll talk a little bit about in a minute. Our location means that we're also close to major roads and bus routes. And that means that it shouldn't be too difficult to get to Southwest Durham for your training on top of the free bus pass that we provide all students who want to use an Arriva Northeast bus to travel to and from the building. We've also got a rich history of providing engineering and manufacturing training in the Northeast. And we've been around for over 50 years now delivering that quality training that employers in the local area really want. So that means we know what we're doing. We've got experienced staff. We've got brilliant facilities that you can use and we can help you progress whichever way you want, whether that's into an apprenticeship, to university or into employment itself. Overall, we have over 7,000 square meters of facilities at Southwestern Training, meaning that we have all the technology and facilities you'll need to develop your skills in engineering. So overall, because of our history, because of our heritage, our training is really well respected with companies. And to give you an idea, here's some of the companies that we've previously worked with or that we work with now. And these are companies that we provide training for or that we train up apprentices for. So if you're looking for a career in engineering, we have lots of contacts that are leading in the field of engineering. And if you're looking for an apprenticeship, you're much more likely to be successful if the training you're doing is coming from a recognized and respected company, somewhere like Southwestern Training, so really consider that when you're thinking about where to apply, where to do your training and how to get into the apprenticeship pathway. So at Southwestern Training, we offer lots of different engineering qualifications, depending on your background and your experience so far. So for those of you that haven't studied engineering at school or haven't done it at GCSE, we have courses for the beginner that teach you the basics, that get you to grips with the different machinery and the different technology and then allow you to progress from there. For those of you who have studied engineering at GCSE level at school, or maybe you've studied a similar subject like resistant materials, so you've got already got some hand skills, then we offer intermediate and advanced level courses that will challenge you and develop your skills in new and exciting ways. And there's also lots of variety to our courses. So you can study subjects like fabrication and welding, electrical and mechanical maintenance, or tool making, along with lots of other customizable modules where you'll find things that you're interested in and begin to develop a passion for different parts of engineering. And our courses can serve different purposes. So if you're interested in an apprenticeship, we have courses that are designed to get you the training that you need to apply for apprenticeships and be successful in applying for an apprenticeship. 
or if you're interested in going to university to study engineering, then we've got qualifications that are designed to build you up to be ready to apply for university and give you the UCAS points you need to successfully secure a place. So it's really important that potential students aren't put off if they haven't studied engineering before. Please don't listen to this and think this all sounds great, but I don't have any skills yet or I've never studied the subject, so I can't apply and I can't change my career direction to become an engineer. That's just not true. We can help you build up from scratch to develop the skills you need to be successful. In a similar way, students who have studied this at GCSE won't just be coming back to study the same things. They'll be studying more advanced theories, more advanced techniques, and really pushing themselves in new ways. But whatever your experience, there's a course for you in engineering at Southwestern Training. One of our specialities is providing apprenticeship training and supporting students to apply for an apprenticeship. So we do a whole range of different apprenticeships, as you can see here, things like computer-aided design and drawing, um, quality and technical support, fab and weld, polymer processing, lots of different areas to help you specialise once you start to think about an apprenticeship and what area of engineering you want to be an expert in. And one of the things that really separates an engineering apprenticeship from other types of apprenticeship is that you can earn up to double the normal apprenticeship wage if you're studying an engineering apprenticeship. So that means, in theory, some apprentices can earn up to £1,200 a month, and that's before they've even really finished their training. They're just starting out, they're just beginning to develop the skills they need, and they're getting paid to recognise the fact that they're moving into a really successful and really respected and well-paid sector. So rather than me tell you more about the advantages, I thought I'd let one of our students tell you a little bit about what it's like to study for an apprenticeship. So this next clip is Stephen, he's one of our apprentices, and he will tell you a little bit more about what to expect from that type of pathway. I've done a range of different subjects, ranging from pneumatics, machining, electrical, mechanical maintenance. Uh, I feel like I'm ready to go into proper work now, like full time, which is what I'm doing in September. From working with a range of different tutors and teachers, I picked up practical skills and theory-based skills, which can put together to help me in the workplace. I would recommend this course due to like the massive range of different activities, practical and theory that we do. So as well as offering apprenticeships, we also cater for students who are looking to go to university to study engineering or a range of related different subjects. So we offer, for example, a level three extended diploma, which is worth the same UCAS points studying for three different A-levels. But instead, this is a practical qualification where you learn about different areas of engineering, including technical drawing, computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing, and pneumatics, as well as all the, the different theories of engineering you'll need. As well as that, students often work together on an engineering project. So last year, they worked with Durham University. And they'll also visit a range of universities and international companies locally to get an idea about what qualifications are out there, what courses they can apply for, and the types of job role they can look forward to after they've finished university. So if students are looking to do that, they're looking to progress on to university, they should really think hard about the difference between A-levels and studying for a very practical qualification in an area like engineering, where hands-on experience can really be a great benefit. And students, therefore, should really think about Southwestern training as a pathway to university too. Now, although I've talked a lot about engineering, we also offer other subjects that are just as exciting and just as productive in terms of getting a job or getting an apprenticeship. And one of those areas is electrical installation. And our course in electrical installation is perfect for those that want to get the skills and the knowledge to develop a career as an electrician. And that's really designed for those who are looking to gain an apprenticeship afterwards or gain employment and also work towards being industry standard and recognised as an electrician in that sector. We also offer a range of very successful courses in plumbing, gas and heating. We have our own heating and gas centre on site for you to do your training. And much like every other area that we offer at Southwestern Training, you can progress through the different levels of training. So we offer courses at level one, two and three, depending on your previous experience. 
So on these courses, you'll learn about different domestic and industrial plumbing systems, as well as things like environmentally sustainable technology. So you're future proofing your skills and preparing for that wave of renewable energy and concerns about the environment that are impacting on every area of employment. And again, like lots of our other courses, you can progress on to employment or you can progress on to an apprenticeship, depending on your level of study. But lots of students who come to us having finished school and starting their training in plumbing are looking for an apprenticeship and we can support you in applying and being successful for those. And that's been a bit of a whistle stop tour of all the different things we offer at Southwest Durham Training. So if you're interested in engineering or becoming an electrician or becoming a plumber, or you're interested in going to university or getting an apprenticeship, then I really hope you'll consider Southwest Durham for the next step in your education. And you can find out more information and apply online at our website, which is swdt.co.uk. And on that website, you'll also find out more information about any events we're doing, including our open evenings. I wish you all the very best for the future and hope to see you soon at Southwest Durham Training.